not through the unit but directly to the engine so it's completely safe unit however the water has damaged it in the way that uh, it starts to act crazy. Pull the trigger and the, the, the car and the engine goes rah, immediately. Like your bikes, your spiders or rikers, ever since I believe 2012, 2011, they are not built like this. So now, now the most common issues is that the people do uh, plug, uh, like connect your pedal box and you go for a ride. To my story, why I will remove this from the beast. Hi guys, this is your boy Martin and today we're gonna talk about pedal box and this video is for everyone that already do have pedal box and do have no trouble with it whatsoever. I'll tell you my story of using it after two years and I'll tell you why I will remove it from my handlebars. <gasps> yes. Two, it's for everyone there who is thinking about buying pedal box or pedal commander because I will tell you What's the pedal box very quickly? How it helps? Can it damage your bike? And what's the bloody difference between pedal box and pedal commander? And three, it's for everyone who has just bought it and you have Googled that I have error code there because pedal box is error code free unit in 99.999% of the cases from my experience. And mostly you are doing something wrong, but we will fix it at the end of this video together. So guys, enough of this, let's get started. Unfortunately, it's going to be a lot of talking and the, at the end of the video, we will um, do the really practical illustration, how to fix the error codes that you, are, you, that you may face. And in case you would like to skip some of the, some of the video part, Go to the martinthevlogger.com because in the post about like every video I do, there are time frames and you just can skip to the to the part of the video that interests you. Now we will start with what is the pedal box, uh, how it can damage your bike, if it can damage your bike. Uh, what is the difference between this and pedal commander, and why Martin the Vlogger is selling only the unit with the uh, Bluetooth version and with our own logic. And they are still cheaper than just basic units without Bluetooth in the words. How is that possible? So what the pedal box does? Uh, well, pedal box is the, something like a brain for your throttle, uh, for your can Spider or even for a Riker. Okay, we have this similar units for Rikers. And what it does, <laughs> before, like, can you remember old cars like old Mustangs or whatever? And there are even on YouTube there are videos like somebody's going to the engine and, and just pull the trigger and the, the, the car and the engine goes rah immediately. Like your bikes, your spiders or rikers, ever since I believe 2012, 2011, they are not built like this. There is no direct cable going through the engine saying like give me maximum power. No. Because there is an optimization, optimization on, on distance, travel, you can travel per one gas tank. Um, like maybe safety or whatever, you know, whatever can M or BRP can think of. And uh, so what they do, they have electronic throttle and that's the reason why we have the cables in there, you know, that they are going from the throttle all the way to your EQ and then they're all, all the thinking in a the, in the bike is. Now when you hit the throttle and you do not have pedal box, your bike goes, okay, now there is an acceleration, what shall I do? Um, probably accelerate, so I'll accelerate. Kind of way, all right? If you would have just the direct cable and you will hit the throttle, it will say accelerate and it will go, all right? Whatever the maximum outcome of your engine would be, your bike would go like that, all right? Now, this is possible to have something like real cable on your bike using pedal box and it can give you maximum output of and that's a magical number 94.99 that's the magical number we cannot go above because then the bike starts to throw in the error codes so pedal box has three modes city sport and sport plus and it has three Oh, six altogether levels of sensitivity minus three up to plus plus three if you will go to the most aggressive mode which means sport plus plus three your bike will have 
almost no restraints. I mean, it will go like almost like you have on 90 point, 94.99 cable in there and not an electronic throttle. In other words, yes, your bike will accelerate faster. Yes, your bike. No, it will not have better top speed. It has nothing to do with that. It will just accelerate faster, and yes, there will be more fun. Now, can it damage your bike? In general, I would say no. Why? Because we are. This is not Eco Flash. This is not Eco Flash. You can turn it off at any moment, uh, and we are not changing fuel to air ratio, which are like Eco Flash and changing the the limitation on the red red revs and moving them up or really changing fuel to air ratio it's messing up with the brain of the bike however just think logically in case you would uh, accelerate faster than how it is re designed before before without using this thing i mean obviously you are using the bike more therefore that can be something that is harming your bike a little bit more but again for me on f3s on the beast i'm martin the vlogger i ride crazy i do not ride on the most aggressive mode plus three all the time i just ride really like when i'm having like top fun normally i ride normally i ride in city plus three in many cases i ride sport plus all right so that's about how it is damaging or possibly can damage your bike. Now, what's the difference between this and Pedal Commander and which unit is better? This one is better. Because I'm selling it, now you may think, oh, Martin is selling it, so he's telling us Pedal Commander is not good and he's in a fight with Sling Mod and he will never... Yeah, Pedal Commander, don't get me wrong, Pedal Commander, it's great unit. It's good, it gives you fun, it, it works similar way it gives you almost the same fun. There are two disadvantages that I that they haven't been solved since 2017 when they came to the game. This unit, and I will actually get to the trouble. Fuck, I'm talking a lot anyway. Uh, this unit is almost like the whole unit is water resistant. Almost like the whole unit. There is only one bloody thing that it's not, and it's this top. Um, pin and I will get there and pedal commander the whole unit is fragile to a water so you cannot really run it on your bike that's one thing all right but I will not run this unit anymore on my handlebars so it's kind of let's call it equal all right however what's more trouble and actually one of the reasons why I'm recording today this video is because yesterday I have received an email like Martin I'm running pedal commander I'm like fine and uh, I have limited mode, so what I can do. Um, the problem with Pedal Commander is that there is not a functionality that it will learn your throttle. And actually, Pedal Box can learn your throttle and learn the signal. And that's very important. Actually, that's the most of the trouble with the Pedal Box and wrong pairing, because you need to do pairing uh, and when the error codes are coming from. So, in other words, pedal commander, you plug it in and when the error codes and limb home modes usually happens is when you're riding the most aggressive mode because that's the really like, I told you, the magical number is 94.99% like we can go over that, over that number and uh, every throttle, every single bike has a different voltage in the throttle through the cables and pedal commander simply cannot, cannot learn that logic and that's where the trouble is coming from all right pedal box learns every single bike you can buy it you can sell it because you can reset it and the new owner can again learn his uh throttle so that's a great thing so that's why we say it's error code free now last thing in this long section is why the heck martin the vlogger is selling only bluetooth versions He's saying he has his own logic and I believe, I'm not checking competitors, I don't care, but competitors, many of them are my friends, but uh, <laughs> I have it, I believe, cheaper. 
even compared to this basic unit. Why? How it is possible? And by the way, guys, if I ship worldwide, I optimize the value of the box, just saying for the customs proposals. Okay, anyway. Uh, because this unit is made in Germany, because my friend, partner in the crime, has developed this unit for Kenem Spider and Riker. He has done it! We were the very first ones to sell it. He was the very first one to sell it, and I then partnership with him. And we still have our own logic. That's the reason why the port is in there, because we can record our own logic. Pedalbox is using their own logic, and whatever item, whatever pedal box you can buy somewhere, it's a different unit than our unit, all right? Because it's made in Germany, well, because it's made in Germany next door, uh, we have it for much better prices, and we have agreed on a deal that, uh, yeah, we buy a lot, we get a great prices, and we have it for the price. Like, our prices are only for the Bluetooth versions. So many people do ask me if I have the Bluetooth version, because it's, it's almost like crazy, like, my price is much different. And yes, we have only Bluetooth version. The first line in the description says, I think a Bluetooth app or whatever. It's just the most luxurious version. Now guys, to my story, why I will remove this from the beast. From, not, not in general, just from the handlebars. Uh, so here is the beast in the, on the next side, next part of the shop and tour and rental agency. And uh, of course I was writing like this and I told you why in other videos, and I was writing like this for two years and today it's going away because I will put their navigation system as well. So that's the one reason. But the more important is what has happened to me and, and listen to me or, or not. Um, believe me or not, it's your call and it's your decision at the end. I don't care. Uh, so let me, let me put you here and let me tell you the, the full story. And of course, what you can see, this is our... Tour and, uh, and a rental bike, the Canem Spider F3 Limited Special Series. And it's one of five that we have right now, but in June it's going to be one of six. And we tour the Europe on these bikes. So in case you would like to experience this, come here. And why I'm actually recording these videos now about pedal box? Because we are throwing in the pedal box on this bike. Why? Because my bikes needs to be to Martin the vlogger standards. I know it's a fun unit. I know it's a safe unit. So whatever I'm, whatever I'm going to tell you right now, it doesn't mean that the unit is not safe. It's just how you will use it in terms of kind of safety. Okay, enough of this. Let's, let's do the, what has happened to me. So for two years, what I did, and I told you we are using our own logic and how we are Putting it in, uh, let me see the light. So you open this up. There is a micro USB port and we, we basically uh, teach the unit because this unit is absolutely the same unit for mm, Honda Civic or whatever, okay? It's just the logic is different. So we put it in there. So what I did uh, is that I silicone glue it and I even told you in a few videos, like just silicone glue it, put it on the bike and you're all fine. It was fine for two years and I still stand behind what I said. However, you know, I have two small kids and I teach them like even father can be wrong. And if I'm wrong, I say, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm learning from it. It's okay. So was I wrong? The thing what has happened to me after two years and I say it like this, water will find its ways. And I know that there are some units, even my friends are selling it that way. I told them they might be facing issues in the long run. Don't do it. They don't listen. It's their call. Uh, what has happened to me, I have silicone glue it. I did it very, I believe in a very good way. I put a sticker on top. And still, the bloody water, after two years, it was raining Cats and dogs, that's true, but the bloody water got into that unit. Now, the unit should behave in the way that if something is wrong with it, it will automatically shut down and it will be sending the, the logic, not through the unit, but directly to the engine, so it's completely safe unit. However, the water has damaged it in the way that uh, it starts to act crazy. 
so it was flashing the lights and uh, I was not able, it was nothing super dramatical, but I was not really able to slow down the bike, if I may say. Now it, it sounds, if, I, if I'm listening to myself, it sounds super dangerous, but no, I mean, the throttle was still there. So what I did, I shut down the circuit and the bike stopped down. I was able even to slam the brakes and the bike was down, but still I was, I was hearing the revs were, were up, you know. So I shut down the, the circuit and the bike was fine. So what I'm telling you, uh, do I care that if you have a unit for, that it's, you know, covered with a sticker on top, uh, something will happen to you, to be fair with you, I don't care. Uh, it's your call if you are riding this on handlebars, having the sticker, think in a way that really water can get through uh, anything, very, not very easy, but it can get through. Uh, you will be on a like really um, hardcore sun and the glue will be melted uh, then the bubbles will be created then the water will get in uh, don't get into a trouble okay what I'm saying is it's much safer to hide it so what we will do uh, on this bike of course I don't want this unit to be visible for everyone because not everyone it's skilled enough to ride with the pedal box so I will only allow it for those people that they are skilled enough and we will hide it and we'll be using a Bluetooth in order to, to be able to, to configure it for the, for the skill riders. Otherwise, it will become always completely off. So it's not a problem. Now to the, to the error codes and how to pair it with the Bluetooth and, and how to avoid error codes and what you can be actually doing wrong. Now, the very first experience on error it happened to me only once and actually very recently. It was the wrong plug-in in the pedal box and it happened, it never happened on F3 models because it's very easy. I mean, the, the connector that you need to plug the, the two cables in, it's in here, all right? So it's, it's sitting, like here you have the fog lights, it's not here, it's hidden here and it's sitting there and it's the only cable and only connector that it will that it will accommodate our plugs from pedal box. What has happened? I have installation with on RT20 Plus. For whatever reason, we don't know yet. <laughs> I don't have even time to investigate. But the cable that was there, that's supposed to be a throttle cable, was not a throttle cable. Actually, it was a cable from dashboard. And what has happened? The dude has plugged it in because he thought it's the correct cable because it was on its place where it should be on RT20+. Plus. The, the pedal box went flash red and then completely died. So, of course, we have helped the customer because Martin, the blogger, is doing support a different way. But uh, uh, even it was not our mistake. Just a little bit of promo here. Hopefully you can see it nice. Good. So now, now the most common issues is that the people do a plug, like connect your pedal box and you go for a ride. The pedal box can work, but in 80% of the cases it will shoot error codes, engine uh, light will go on, or even limp home, limp home mode. What you need to do, and again, I thought about it in the longer video, so I don't want to go back, but you need to learn the signal from your bike because every bike has a different signal that it's sending through those throttle cables. So you need to pair your uh, pedal box. By the way, hey, everything is written in this box, but yeah, who is reading manuals these days, right? Good, so what you need to do, usually it will come like this, I believe. So. Hold it for three seconds. You see? Okay, we have a tiny issue here. So I go to the green. Good example, actually. One, two, three. Good. Now, actually, very good example. Love it. So now it's flashing like this. Now I'm in the pairing mode. What you need to do, you need to let me go this way. You need to go all the way to the max and release. Now, you see it's on the green. 
Again, go all the way to the max and release. Go to the max and release. Go to the max and release. I don't know why, but sometimes it goes to the max on the first push. Sometimes you saw that it was like blinking. That's not good. Don't stop until you go on a full throttle to the max and when you release it to the minus. In case you cannot get there, do it again, all right? Turn off the bike, let it sit for two minutes, restart it. Now what we need to do, we need to confirm it by holding the main button, turn off and it's in there. Now my box is completely configured, all right? Of course, a little bit of manual, whatever I will record to the box, like red one is a sport plus, so blue or well, white it's off. If I'll go to the city mode, I have last time set it up to plus one, it's there. I have set it up the sport plus as a minus two, it's there. You know, it remembers, all right? Now let me go through the Bluetooth pairing. So one more time. Do you please get it that most common two issues in like really like 99.8% of the cases, people do not pair their bike with the pedal box. You simply don't do it. And that's the main issue. And as you can see, it, it doesn't have to be always your mistake. Just the unit for whatever reason on few bikes, as you saw it on, on my bike, uh, just don't go directly there on the first attempt. And people think we are there, we're done. Two, many people don't confirm the pairing with holding the main button. You need to do that. Three, many times it's the most common issue is that uh, when you hit the throttle, your throttle is not set up that it will go all the way up to the, to the latest green, no, red. Uh, actually mark so like this all right so you saw it like this that that are the most common issues guys okay if you have a limb home if it's error it's one of these issues trust me hopefully it's that <laughs> now bluetooth the bluetooth pairing all right this is a great example because i have several phones and on this one i do not have the pedal box so you need to type dte that's where who is making the pedal box actually uh, go to the DT pedal box. By the way, one thing I almost forgot. Of course, you don't have to start your bike when you would like to pair the, the pedal box. It's enough to have the ignition on, right? You don't need to start the bike. So DT systems, install it. Fast forward. Click open. Register. We need to go to the mailbox. In the mailbox, you have registration. You need to confirm. And it's activated. So now it automatically logs you in and no module paired. So what we need to do now, we need to press plus for five seconds so the unit starts to flash blue flash blue there we go good so five seconds at least we go to the bluetooth here pedal box pairing App it's open automatically. There we go. Now, just have a look here. I go to city. Ah, and it changes to city. I go to sport, changes to sport. I go to sport plus, changes to sport plus. Good? So this is how it works when pairing step by step. So guys, this is pretty much it. And I told you, everything that I know 
about Pellbox and um, take my advices uh, or leave them, it's, it's up to you. Because in case you would like to uh, find out more various topics, at the moment we are throwing in two videos uh, a week. Visit martintheblogger.com, maybe even the register so you know like what we are doing. And in case you have any questions, martintheblogger.com, there is a contact section. I'm more than happy to, to help or say or tell you my point of view. In case you would like to write Europe on three wheels, toursonthree.com. In case you will write us an email uh, that you would like to tour Europe on three wheels, we will definitely uh, find the best solution for you. We have adventures like Montenegro. <laughs> Jesus, that's a crazy tour. Uh, we have Grossglockner, we have Slovakia in 2023, or we have self-guided tours or tours with me directly, like custom-built tours. And last not least, in case you would like to buy a pedal box or something else, like the strongest sway bar on the planet, we have the strongest sway bar on the planet, we're going to throw it on this rental bike because I just believed in this product. Uh, just go to martintheblogger.com slash shop and, you know, we optimize the value of the boxes for international shipping. Oh, geez, I said again more than I should. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And remember, uh, do whatever. Take my advices or not. It's your call. But always have fun. <laughs>